Hi, and welcome to this Media Shout tutorial video. In this session, I'm going to show you two quick and easy ways in how to edit a song in the Media Shout database. Now, for as an example, we're going to use the song that we created in our last video session called At the Foot of the Cross. So I'm going to go to the song search here on the left, and I'm going to type At the Foot of the Cross. Hit enter, and I got the song here. Now what I'm going to do is instead of selecting the song, I'm going to right click and go to edit song. Okay, so it brings up this property box here, which you will find for almost any component that you put in the media shot script, whether it be a song, an image or a video, um, the properties box will generally look the same. The same. Uh, in this case, it's for the song. So notice on the left hand side, I can select a verse, a bridge or a chorus and the contents comes up here and I can go ahead and edit that. It's under the foreground section. So I'm going to go to the verse and I'm going to add a second part to it. I'm going to go to the chorus and I'm going to slightly modify it. Okay, good. I'm going to click apply. I'm going to say yes, refresh. Now this thing only comes up because I have the song already on my script. But if this song is not in your script, it's not going to do that. So I'm just going to say refresh, yes, and click OK. All right. Um, that is the first way of editing a song. Um, another way, now you've noticed I got this song on my script. I'm going to see this button in the middle. Uh, called manual advance. I'm going to click on that and it brings me to this property box here again um, But this time it doesn't actually allow me to edit the song straight away. I have to go to the foreground button Now what I'm going to do this time. I am going to add a new stanza. So again, if I select any of these it will The contents will come up. I can go ahead and edit it, but I'm going to add in a new stanza Say I want to add in a verse 2. I'm going to go down here and at the bottom left, you can see this button saying add stanza. I'm going to go to the drop down and I'm going to select new and say stanza. And you remember this particular window from the last uh, video. Um, and this is the place where you add the content of the song. So I'm going to, it's already done it for me. I got verse and I'm verse two. I'm going to add a new part of the song. And I'm going to click OK. And verse 2 is there. So I'm just going to rearrange the order. You can do that here as well. I'm going to take that and drag that down. And I'm going to take the chorus. And this time I want to put the chorus in its rightful place, probably after verse 2. OK, so I've got here verse 1, verse 2, verse 3, uh, sorry, chorus and the bridge. OK, I'm going to click Apply and OK. Now you notice that as soon as I've done that, all the changes have now been made. So if I click on, if I fire up verse one and verse two, chorus and bridge, all the things that are created are now in there. Now, the important thing to remember is that when you have created a song in the Media Shout database, make sure that you close the program down properly. If for some reason, say your computer plug gets taken out or your battery runs out and Media Shout doesn't shut down properly, the song doesn't actually uh, stay in the database. So all changes you made in the database will get wiped out and you have to start again. So make sure that uh, when you've created a song in the database, make sure you've closed down MediaShop properly.